Mercy Ministries has been very rewarding. I have been able to increase my sense of respect for diversity. I've been able to work with people from diverse backgrounds, all aimed at achieving the same goal. I have been able through my reporting to portray the shortfalls in the HMP activities, shortfalls in HMP recruitment, where for now we have about 10% recruitment of the women in HMP. The presence of women in UN peacekeeping mission cannot be overemphasized. They encourage women, women in the host countries to be outspoken and contribute their quota in peace building processes. They also build this confidence in women, particularly when it has to do with feminine issues. Women tend to confine in UN female peacekeepers. And they also serve as role models to young girls who intend to join the police force or the military as the case may be. as a peacekeeper we are faced with so many challenges one the the stress resulting from leaving our families back home and coming to a strange land then the cultural background where you're meant to adapt to culture of another country then the environmental allergies then there are for women peacekeeping it's even more because of our sensitive nature we are meant to adapt to so many things even some unhygienic environments which of course we do because we know this is why we are here. Women being peacekeepers face a lot of challenges. One, in post-conflict environment, they are vulnerable. Like security-wise, they are very vulnerable. Then some missions where they have to be quartered in camps, which are not very hygienic. Women with their biological nature tend to have problems there. And other, other incidences too, like women that are married like us, leaving our families back home and coming here, particularly where we have younger ones, the stress of that feeling is also there. Well, for me, I see, I see a peacekeeping mission to be synonymous to stress. So before I leave my country, I condition my mind to receive the worst. I tell my mind, you are going there, no comfort, you are going there to adopt to whatever you find. And so with that mindset, I go into the missions. And again, I, in the evenings, I go to the gym to work out. Then I try as much as possible to use my CTOs where I go and live out of work environment to distress. I read novels a lot. Then I also find comfort talking with my family in the evenings. I relate my day's activities and they encourage me. And I try as much as possible to avoid office conflict with my colleagues. That is very, very important. It is rewarding to me because when I look back, the missions I've been to, I've been to Onusi in Cote d'Ivoire, and here I was with Minidus too. I look at the quota, my quota that I've been able to put in in this mission. I feel rewarded. I feel like, yes, I can go back and say I've helped in world peace. I would say it's very cordial. We have a very good relationship. At first it was difficult because they were a bit hostile, but with the time they tend to know that they have a lot to learn from us, just like we have to learn from us, so, so from them rather. So we have developed a very cordial relationship where we work collaboratively. A strategic planning officer where I monitor and report the, the HMP strategic planning development have been able to, through my reports, bring to the notice of the hierarchy the need to have more women in HMP. As of today, I'll tell you they have 10%, like I said before, of women in HMP. I've also been able to, through my reports, my, I, 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 I contribute in the weekly report, in the monthly rule of law report, the, the uh, quarterly secretary general report, the biannual report. Through these reports, we have been able to, to pass through the hierarchy, the need for so many decisions to be taken. And these reports have also been used in taking decisions that concern the mission. 
Women Network uh, executive, as a treasurer and the member of the Women Network Committee, we have been able to reach out to the orphanages where we give them gifts, the children, we give them toys, we give them educational materials, we, we bring them support, we, we go there to get there to them, give them that motherly care they need, and it creates a very good report for the police and also helps develop a very good relationship between us and them. I woke up by 5 a.m. Normally, I do my morning prayers. I talk with my husband because I need that encouragement from him every morning. Then I get to the office around 7 50, thereabouts. I check my mails to get reports from all the sections and police operation center for my weekly reports. And I also check the media to get news from the, from the news media and verify from HMP colleagues before I use them for my reports. Then again, I also have meeting with my chief of section for work directives. Then around 12, I have my lunch, resume by one, then close by four. That four, I get back home, try to talk with my family, then the children will be back from school, then I go for the gym, and that's my day. So my opinion, I think UN has done tremendously well in promotion of gender, gender equity. Like if you see, you have so many women in managerial positions now. We also check in police component now. We have our chief of police commissioner has been able to have women deployed. Like now we have about 32% of women representative in, in police components. And then again, if you check the just minister, we've always had women as SRG. It's really encouraging. We also expect that they will do more. Yes, I want to use this opportunity to advise women to endeavor, police women in particular, to endeavor to go to peacekeeping missions. It's very fulfilling.